what's happening what's cracking we about to get into another live reaction uh we about to get into a video of a girl doing a ppp loan and hiring somebody as a hitman to take somebody out that's what you're gonna do with your money the whole idea of the money is to flip the money and make some more money not to spend your money blowing your money and all that shit. there's a lot of niggas out there like that a lot of people out here saying got that PPP loan. The motherfuckers coming behind trying to come get your ass. For real, for real. So, um, I hope you did the right thing to pay the motherfuckers back. For real, for real. Because at the end of the day, you must have been making some money out that money. If you a real hustler, but a lot of people, yeah. I'm blow by me or that damn some Louis bags, some red bottles or whatever. These chicks buying, I don't know what they buying, lace fronts, all that type of shit. But getting their nails done. But we're going to get into the video. But before you get into the video, like I said, uh, like, comment, subscribe to Who is Quincy. And let's get into the video and see what the hell is going on. The startling new details, details of the murder of a TSA, TSA agent. agent. Good, Good evening, evening, I'm Juwan Street. And I'm Jackie Nespro. Police say a woman paid a hitman in PPP loan. She was a TSA agent? I thought that was a fairly good job. I don't know. I ain't, hell, shit. I don't, there ain't too many airports around this way, but I thought that was a decent job. Money, Money. And, that's and that's just one, one of the outrageous, outrageous allegations. ABC6 reporter Ryan Nelson is in Northwest Miami Dade with the details today. The warrants revealed a tangled web of allegations, including murder for hire, fraud, and witness tampering. Police say 33-year-old Jasmine Martinez masterminded the murder for hire plot, bankrolled by PPP loans, and left 24-year-old Lashanti Jones dead in May. Jones. A TSA officer was gunned down at this Naranja apartment complex in front of her daughter. Investigators say it all started in November 2018 when Martinez was arrested for allegedly beating up Jones just over a year later. So you telling me, hello, who beat up who? I only I I, I got confused on the names. But if you hire somebody to kill somebody because you got your ass beat, that's crazy. That's crazy, for real. Like. You can't swap them. You can't swap it out and take your loss, take your L. Peter, the, the warrant say Jones was robbed at gunpoint in the courthouse, court parking, court house parking lot by, by two men, men including Martinez's Martina ex-boyfriend. That's brave as fuck. Them niggas robbing somebody at the courthouse? The courthouse? Kelly Nelson, Nelson after, after testifying against Martinez. Martinez. About a year, About a year later, later, the warrant says Nelson, Nelson called Martinez, Martinez from jail. jail. The warrant quoting Martinez, Martinez in that conversation as saying she is ready, ready to go, go kill this hoe while, while referring to Jones, Jones and quote Jones, Jones has to die. die. The warrant also, also accuses Martinez, Martinez of harassing Jones, Jones and offering her money not to testify against Nelson who has children with Martinez. But the warrant says Jones still made her deposition in April testifying not only against Nelson Nelson, but, to but to the alleged, alleged witness tampering by Martinez. Martinez. In late in April, April, police say Martinez's, Martinez's new boyfriend, 35-year-old Ramil Robinson, finalized a murder for hire. And this nigga, hello. Deal from jail with alleged shooter, 29-year-old Devon Carter. Robinson's accused of negotiating a price for the hit over the phone while speaking in code. The warrant says, quote, Robinson asks if he can get the number 10 jersey. Carter responds that it is usually 20 to 25. Days later, Jones is shot and killed. According to the warrant, cell records... Y'all better be watching what y'all doing on these goddamn phones. You got to be watching what y'all doing. Y'all niggas careless. Y'all niggas don't give a fuck. Y'all just doing whatever and thinking y'all ain't going to get caught. Wow, that's crazy. Reveal Carter, Carter and, Martinez and, Martinez and Martinez in the area, area of the killing, killing at the exact, exact same time. time. Detectives, Detectives also say they found video on Carter's, Carter's phone of him counting cash hours after the murder, murder saying it was just another, another day at the office. office. Attorneys representing and Martinez. Martinez Niggas. 
Niggas. Anne Robinson say Martinez has denied any involvement since she spoke to investigators this past summer and say Robinson had nothing to do with it. Ryan Nelson, NBC6 News. Really? These niggas is crazy. You mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that y'all gonna sit here and talk about this shit over the phone for one? Then y'all gonna do it for a female that should be squabbling herself instead of actually trying to kill somebody and all that type of shit. I, I was confused. I don't know who be who has or whatever, but at the end of the day, if you lost a fight or whatever the case, or you want to fight, man, you beat her ass. Just go on about your way. Or if you got your ass beat, go on about your way until you see that motherfucker again. Then you got to swabble and then try to get your W. But you ain't, I ain't going to see him. Nah, man. That shit, that shit, that shit whacked out. That shit's crazy. <laughs> For real. But, hey, everybody don't have common sense. That's what they say. But, uh, like, comment, subscribe to Who is Quincy. Uh, like I say all the time, till another video, gotta go. Holla at your boy.